First of all, this shit is fire. Second of all, I'm about to teach you all how to make this fat ass snare so let's go. We're gonna use Steven Slate Drums 4 for this shit, but here is little last trick. As you can see, there is two samplers. Both of them use exact same sample and don't have any processing but internal envelope shits. So first one is SD raw, let's check that shit. Black Beauty 6.5 sample. Here is the levels, notice that overhead's channel is turned off. SD attack layer. Same sample here. Notice that we only have top channel here, rest are turned off. And most important thing here, envelope section, which I use to get rid of everything but very short transient, check this out. Combination of these two allows us to get tight snare that really cuts. Watch that shit. Matter of fact, there is not too much difference with full processing chain, but it makes sense to me. Here is the levels. Now booth channels goes to snare bus. First thing here is multibind exciter with crazy amounts of tape saturation. Next thing, EQ. Solid boosts of body. Drops on harshy zones. And slight boost of presence. CLA 76 compressor with fastest attack and release settings to glue them layers together and make our snare fatter. Stereo enhancer to decrease outstanding stereo provided by room channel of SD raw layer and make our snare more focused in center. Next EQ decrease rainy resonances in lower mids.
NLS with crazy amount of drive. SSL compressor with fast attack and medium release really finalize that gluing work and make our snare sound like 32-bit file system if you know what I mean. EQ Low cut to get rid of unwanted lows and get more headroom. Drops on rainy mid-range frequencies, however these shifts are more question of taste. You can see that output of this bus is pretty high, but I have 10 dB attenuation on master bus, so we still have headroom. Speaking of master bus, we have this multibin compressor which glues snare with other parts of mix, so let's check that shit really quick. So that's pretty much it. If you like entire mix, be sure to check out full mix review which I'll do in metal mixing guide number 10, you'll find link to that shit in the description. Here you will also find link to my Patreon page, just in case if you want to support my work and get access to my private stuff such as mix ready templates, packs of custom impulses and other fire shits. So hope you learned thing or two from this little last tutorial. See you next time.